Welcome back to part five of the uh, Silver Cell Anode Filters Refining Series. We're going to go ahead and put this solid material in this beaker. I'm going to hit this again with some more aqua regia. I'm adding hydrochloric acid to this. Usually with this kind of material, the first extraction gets 95 percent of all the precious metals that are in the solids. We're going to do another extraction here. I'm going to add a little bit of nitric acid now to form aqua regia in here. And now what we'll do is we'll cover this up and we'll set it up on the heat and let this cook in hot aqua regia. This is our DMG precipitate. I've still got it. We're going to work on it if we can capture enough or collect enough to do a refining. For now, I'm just going to get it out of the way. Now, what we'll do is we'll bring our silver that has some platinum group metals mixed in with it. All the silver should be cemented out of this now. And it should just be a waste solution. So, what I'm going to do is siphon off this waste solution to a waste bucket. Let's get this piece of copper out of here. It's still got some metallic copper left. I'll use it. Cementing out silver in another solution. But for right now, what we'll do is just add some distilled water to this. Stir it up real good. And then we'll let it settle. And then I'll siphon off the liquid to a waste bucket. I'm trying to get all the junk rinsed off of the silver before we go to try to filter it because this stuff was plugging up filters earlier so we try to rinse all the liquid material off here and then we'll try to capture the silver in a filter I've had the solids on boiling now for a couple hours Let's get a sample on a piece of filter paper here. See what we got going on in this solution. And you can see we've got a dark stain. So there's probably a couple of grams of gold still in that solution. Let's pull this down off the heat, let it cool down. Go ahead and siphon off some of this rinse water. I've got the solids all rinsed off in this funnel until the filtrate began to run colorless. So we've got all the gold rinsed off of here. Now what we'll do is add the gold solution to a clean beaker here. Let's test it with Stannis, make sure we got gold in solution. Before we try to precipitate it out that stain tells me I've got gold maybe a couple grams 
in this solution. Now we're going to add some stump out, which is sodium metabisulfite, precipitate out our pure gold. That should be enough. Three spoons should do it. set this up on the heat and we'll try to get it to settle out quickly for us so we can recover that gold and melt it into a little button let's take this down off the heat now Settle it out fairly well. Now we're just going to go ahead and pour this off into our waste container. this a rinse with some water All right. here's what we got down inside of our beaker I'm gonna put a little bit of hydrochloric acid on here we're going to set this up on the heat now. Not very much gold. And give it a boil in some hydrochloric acid. And I've had it in there for about 10 minutes with hydrochloric acid. Now what we'll do is pour this off into our waste container. And I'm going to rinse it off with some water. Let's get this gold down into a melt dish. Is it very much? Now we'll take it over here to the melt table. And what we'll do is fire up our torch and melt us up a little bead of pure gold.
righty, here's our little bead of gold that we just recovered from the remaining solids that we had. As you can see, it's not very much. It's probably going to be about between one and two grams. It's not very pure. You can tell by the color that it's got some other metals mixed in with it. Here's our little bead of gold that we just recovered from these solids. It's always tempting to try to do another extraction of the solids and this is a good exercise to demonstrate that the first extraction gets 95 percent of the metals out of the uh, solids. We got 14 grams with the first extraction. Here we've got 1.2 grams of gold. It's not very pure. I'll add this into my uh, next batch of carrot scrap and re refine it. And what we'll do in part six then is back here I've got this silver with some platinum group metals mixed in with it. We'll try to process this, see if we can extract some of the platinum group metals. And if we get enough out of here, we'll combine it with these and try to do a, a PGM refining uh, in part six. Uh, so this will conclude part five of the silver cell anode filters refining series of videos. Thank you for watching.